Okay, just a quick video here. I'm not showing all the everything because I don't have the editing equipment for that, but just a quick preview. I'm stopped at a stoplight and the Model 3 just got the update for um, auto stopping at the stoplight. Uh, it, as you probably heard, it actually stops at all intersections, but you just tap, you just do a quick tap on the on the stock to tell it uh, to go through. But that's just an initial mode for. Um, you know, being extra cautious. The light's about to turn green here. I'll just hit the stock and it takes off by itself. Uh, there's another intersection coming up here. We'll see if it's green or red and then you can see um, if, uh, if uh, how it handles, you know, either green or red depending on what we hit here at this next intersection. Uh, here we're coming to a crosswalk and yeah, let me change lanes here see if it shows that pedestrian I don't know I can't really see in the view here if it's showing that but maybe you can uh, see where is that next intersection coming up we'll see it'll most likely be green and you'll see on the screen that it'll uh, say stopping anyway, and that's just the initial beta mode where it's gonna it's gonna ask for your confirmation to not stop if the light's green, uh, and it's very easy to just lightly tap the accelerator or tap down on the the stock to uh, to tell it to continue. Uh, it'd be nice if there was a slight chime or something when it would give you the message that it's slowing down for an intersection. So if you see it's green, you can tap that stock before it does any slowdown at all. And I think I, I uh, so yeah, here comes the intersection. Uh, it's green. Um, oh, it, yeah, and it just turned yellow. So I'm not, so I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to let it stop at the intersection. Uh, and hopefully, you got a good view of the screen there. So I don't have any, any, you can see it draws the line where it's gonna stop. Now when it turns green, I'll just need to tap down on the stock and it'll go. I uh, also tapped down on the stock while it was still red just to see if it would go. You know, I made sure that was safe and it did not go. So if you accidentally tap on the stock while it's red and you're stopped, it's not gonna run the red light. So that's good. Uh, so here we come up to another intersection, and it should tell us in a minute there. It's stopping for traffic control of 500 feet, it says on the screen. Now it's turned green, so I'm just going to tap down on the stock. So, oh, stop. Oh, there. I don't know if you could tell that, but it's doing. Oh, it's now it's stopping at this intersection. So that was a double intersection. So I just, you know, it. it kind of did more of a stopping than was comfortable but again that's the beta mode and um, you know this is all for self for the uh, for the um, you know machine learning algorithm this is all uh, still in process uh, for learning the self-driving so this next uh, we'll see here this this yeah I guess I could pause this. I'm going to pause this so you don't have to sit through the whole red light. Just unpause to see if you, it shows the bike. It shows the uh, the biker crossing, the visualization of the biker crossing there. And I'm going to pause it again. Whenever it shows that pedestrian. No, it doesn't because he's too far off. Okay, I think it's about to turn green and there's nobody crossing the road so I'm going to hit the stock that's the stock I'm hitting um, to let it go through the intersection and now we're coming up to another one which is green and it says it's gonna stop so I'm gonna hit the stock and say no nope, it's green you don't have to stop and and uh, oh uh, earlier I uh, came upon somebody crossing a crosswalk and uh, the car automatically slowed down for the, it was actually bicycles uh, running across the crosswalk, so so that was good. And then a pause here. By the way, if you want a, uh, a better um, 
demo, just go to Tur Dirty Tesla. That's the guy who I let me hit the stock to go through this intersection, which is green. Uh, Dirty Tesla's channel is the one. I've up oh, now. It's just came to a complete, almost a complete stop in the middle of the. There, I, you know, that was one of those phantom breakings. There was nobody behind me, so I just let it do it. If there was someone behind me, I would have just hit the accelerator. It's per, you know, it's perfectly safe when that happens. There's a lot of complaints about that, but your foot's right there by the accelerator. You can always override a phantom brake. And again, that's just part of the, um, you know, until part of the whole beta thing. Um, uh, but I was just going to say for a better demo, my demo's not that great. Um, don't thumbs down me. Just go to Dirty Tesla where he has a much better demo. Uh, he, he, his channel's called Dirty Tesla because uh, he's got to drive a mile or so on a dirt road every day. So, uh, you know, his Model 3 is typically not clean on the outside. I'm going to pause it here. Okay, we're approaching another intersection. Uh, and it says it's going to stop. Okay, it's green. Let's see, you can see. I'm just going to let it slow down a lot. So you can see it's going to stop, but as soon as I hit the stock, yeah, it's, it keeps going. So, um, uh, here we go to another one. Hit the stock. Now it keeps going through this intersection. Uh, I'll try, I'll pause it here until so I can show a stop sign instead of a. And, uh, um, so that'll be the next demo here. And I'm going to put my son, my son has a Model 3 that he just bought. And I'm going to put his referral code if any, uh, in the description of this video so that uh, he's doing, in order to help pay for his car, he's doing Uber, a lot of Uber Eats in, a, in addition to his regular job to help make that car payment. So if you're looking for a Tesla, feel free to use that referral code. Oh, okay, wait, here. Here we're coming to a, let's see what happens here, because it's going to force me to, okay, yeah, I just switched lanes fine here, and now I'm going to hit the stock to go through this. All right, I'll pause, um, pause here, so the next thing will be a stop sign demo. Okay, I'm in cruise control here, and we're coming up to a stop sign. I'm not in auto, I'm not in autopilot, I'm just in cruise control, but yet it's stopping, there's the stop sign. And it's stopping okay here. Um, now, let's see. What do I, well, I'll just go straight, I guess. But see, I can't really see. Like, normally I would have creeped up further so I could see around that. Um, so if I start creeping up, um, I'm going to have to hit the brake to take it out of autopilot. Otherwise, it's going to, now I can see. Okay, a car is coming. So um, in the case of an obscured uh, left you know, obscure view to your left, you're going to have to kind of creep up on your own um, to look. So that'll be interesting once there's true full self-driving. You know, the car is going to have to know to creep up on its own to be able to see um, off to the left. So I'm going to put it in autopilot since we have a center line. So on that other road, there was no center line, so I couldn't put it in autopilot but I could put it in cruise control. And the stop, the uh, the stop sign recognition works just in cruise control. You don't have to be an autopilot. Of course, you probably have to have the full self-driving package for the stop sign feature to work at all. So um, probably doesn't work uh, in autopilot if you don't have FSD or the hardware three with FSD. All right, so you saw it stopped there at the stop sign. I'm just going to hit down on the stock to go because it's perfect. It's clear to go. That's just a house over there. And boom, and there we go. So that's the uh, that's the the poor man's demo. Uh, no editing equipment. So uh, like I say, just go over to Church Dirty Tesla. Uh, if you're buying a Tesla and you want to help out my son, uh, with some free supercharging miles and yourself with a thousand supercharging miles for his Uber uh, Eats effort. Just uh, use the uh, referral code in the description. Thanks a lot. Bye.